Hey guys, Joe here with Steel Ops. One of the tests that we do on our plates is a 45 degree angle test. Uh, we've got our Pro Tractor uh, Angle Finder here set up. We've got our plate set at a 45 degree angle. That's uh, an angle of incidence. And then I put a white piece of paper here so you guys should be able to see any fragmentation that comes off the plate. So we're gonna load up and take a shot out of a 16 inch DPMS. We're at 10 feet. Let's go take a look. Okay. So, you can see there's no tears in the carrier or anything like that. The paper's nice and clean. Um, we're sitting at a 45 degree angle still. Um, we're gonna keep this plate right here and I'm gonna go take another two shots on this plate just to prove a point. So again, as you can see there, one, two, three. Um, we got our 45 degree angle. Nothing on the paper. Pull this plate out so you can see it. This is an older plate, guys. Uh, label tore a little bit. No penetrations through the back side. Edges are all nice and clean. Again, not a penetration, guys. That's a core test sample point. Um, but aside from a torn sticker, you're in pretty good shape. Maybe we'll do a test on somebody else's armor. One of the things that you'll hear me say in many of our videos is that I'm a firm believer that there is not one end-all, be-all type of body armor. There are different body armor uh, plates for different applications. I'm not just saying that. I actually believe that. This is my own personal HESCO L210 plate. Um, I also own a set of RMA 1155s for level 4. That's obviously in, uh, in addition to the Steel Ops plates that I use. Every one of those plates has a different application. Um, this one is great, guys. If you're not worried about 308 uh, or NIJ certifications, this is a really good plate. It's nice and thin. It's about as thin as our uh, steel plates, actually, and it weighs about a half a pound less, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but again, it is susceptible to 308. So if you're not worried about that, this is a very good option. However, there's a lot of rumors out on the internet about how steel armor fragments and that like that's the only type of armor that can create fragmentation. We're going to put that to the test. We're going to take this HESCO L210 plate um, and we are going to shoot it at the 45 degree angle, same angle that we just shot our Steel Ops Pro plate at and see how it fares. So we'll load this thing up and take some shots. And guys, we have our uh, angle finder here and our nice white piece of paper. Alright guys, we'll pull this HESCO L210 out. Kind of show you what we got. So, I stacked those hits on top of the plate. It was right there. I basically aimed in the same spot. It was the first shot that gave us the debris off the side. And then it looks like the second and third shots may actually have defeated the plate. We'll check the plate carrier here 
and see there's obviously a pretty big tear in the carrier. Um, and it did. It did defeat the uh, it did defeat the armor. Guys, that's not necessarily a knock against the L210. The L210 is really not designed to take multiple impacts on the same spot the way that steel is, and that would be highly unlikely actually in a real world situation. So I don't think that that's necessarily a knock against the plate, but we did get a penetration, I assume, on the second or third round uh, because we had already hit that spot. So there you have it, guys. Uh, steel is not the only hard surface on Earth that creates fragmentation. If there is not a system in place um, to mitigate fragmentation, there's a chance that you're going to get it, particularly at angles. One thing to keep in mind when we're wearing body armor is that a lot of the tests are always done straight on. That's how the NIJ does their test, a zero degree angle of incidence. And while that is a good testing standard, real world, that's actually not very accurate. There's almost always going to be some angle of incident to uh, the person that's shooting at you. So it's just something to keep in mind. Again, that's not saying that the HESCO L210 is a bad plate. I, per I literally just shelled my own plate. Um, so I'm going to actually go and buy some more. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. We'll talk to you later.